Good afternoon, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog of the day for Saturday, September 27, 2014, around 5.40 p.m. in Berwick, Massachusetts. Nice and sunny day out around here, highs in the 80s, and tomorrow could be a few degrees higher. Some places could reach a, a run at 90, and probably be the last time you'll probably see 90 around here for at least seven, eight months. And then we'll go back to the 70s on Monday, Day and Tuesday and the start of October here could be wet and wild here but we do need the rain because it's getting dry. Some news to report in college f football the Colorado State Rams beat the Boston College Eagles by a score of 24 to 21. Colorado State scored a touchdown within the last minute and it was a tough loss by the Eagles. And also the Boston Red Sox beat the New York Yankees by the score of 10 to 4 today in the next to last game of the season. A great game by the Red Sox. One of the few good games they played this year. And getting on to the Red Sox, my next subject is about the 2014 Boston Red Sox season. The, this Red Sox season has been a very disappointing season and, it, and the team wasn't good. That's an understatement. The Boston Red Sox won the World Series last year. It was a miracle season because the previous year before they were the, one of the worst teams in the American League. They finished last in the American League in 2012 because their like the play the play for them was awful. They had no chemistry. They were managed by Bobby Valentine, who was out of the game ten years. And he wasn't a good manager for them. He only lasted one season. Then they hired John Fellow. And in 2013, they won the American League East title. And they won the World Series. Everybody on the Red Sox in 2013 had basically career years. And 2014, many experts were predicting the Red Sox to maybe make the playoffs again. And maybe defend the World Series championship. But this season's been like a World Series hangover. A lot of the players had like down years who had the career years. Um, the Red Sox basically gave up. Come July, they traded most of their pitching staff away that they had at the beginning of the season. Lester, John Lester was traded. John Lackey was traded and Jake Peavy were traded away by the trading deadline and also they got rid of Johnny Gomes and also some of the Red Sox like pitching the closer Cole Yumajimi had a very bad year then a career year last year and also the Red Sox you know hitting except for David Ortiz was awful Jackie Bradley Jr. is a good defensive player, but I don't think he's going to be something special as a hitter. And, well, Middlebrooks, third baseman, first baseman, he can't seem to get a groove. And I don't know if he's going to be around too much longer for the Red Sox, but he'll, at least he's, he's, he's going to marry Jenny Dell. And also, Padrilla had an off year. A couple of other players, you know, haven't been playing good, but the Red Sox have some good prospects like that Brock Hope and also another one, that guy from Cuba, Westing Castillo. He's going to be something. And the pitching staff, Clay Beckholz is the, the ace, but he's not really an ace. He's so hot and cold that you can't really count on him to become a like a decent pitcher or like a steady number one pitcher he's not he's not pitching material for the Red Sox he's not a he's not a number one ace and there's also another guy that I like there Ubi Dalula De or somebody like that he's he's had a good season decent season and I think this winter the Red Sox need to make a play for a frontline starting pitcher I don't think they're going to get Back John Lester, I think they have to make a play for Max Shosha of, of the Detroit Tigers, who's going to be a free agent after this year. And also there's talk that the Red Sox might need an offensive player like Stanton, 
Giancarlo Stanton, but with the injury he suffered, that's going to scare off some teams away. And to sum up all up with the Red Sox season this year, very disappointing. They sucked big time. They just had the World Series hangover, and they couldn't shake it off. And 2015 could be another one of those rebuilding years for the Sox. I don't see them going from worst to first to worst to first again and win the World Series championship. I don't see that happening any time in 2015 or 2016. I think the only thing you might look forward to Red Sox fans in 2015, if Big Poppy David Ortiz is going to hit his 500 home run, that's maybe the only thing you're going to look into. To. Plus, I think the, the crowds at Fenway Park are going to be smaller than it they are. They say they sell so sold out every single game this year, but that's a that's baloney because there's a lot of empty seats there, and I think there's going to be more empty seats. I think there could be a possibility the Red Sox could be looking at maybe a one to three year rebuilding project. I, I don't I don't want to say this, but if they rebuild for a long time, a lot of the f fans for the Red Sox, hardcore Red Sox fans, probably won't go to Fenway Park at all, and you might see crowds of under 30,000, maybe in the 28, 29,000 range. That's not good. And, but you know, if they're, if they're not going to produce a win, the fans are going to stay away. And, you know, I, I still listen to the Red Sox games, and I still watch them from time to time because, you know, you got to root for your team. And, you know, this is like probably going to be a bad, not so good playoffs this year for Major League Baseball because the Red Sox aren't in the playoffs and then the Yankees or the Mets, those are three major teams not in the playoffs. But that's that's another story for another day. Now what I have to look forward to the fans of New England is Boston Bruins season and Boston Celtics season, but you gotta forget about the Celtics because they're not going anywhere this year, and Rondo is just going to be out of town by the trading deadline. I think that the next big player for the Celtics is Marcus Smart. Mark my words, rookie of the year in the NBA this year. And that's about it on the, the Red Sox for 2014. And I'll be back later for my third and final video blog of the night. will be about the legendary game show host, the late Dennis James. Good day, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. Bye now.